consider this if you're going through a rainy season in your life if you're going through a season or seasons where you're surrounded by people that seem to be snakes wolves in sheep clothing your discernment is increasing and God is allowing you to experience these things in order for you to have increased discernment this discernment is when you're able to decipher between clean and unclean spirits, those that have malicious intent and those that have good intentions. And so you're being really forged in the fire during this time and it's to benefit you, it's to prepare you for a greater blessing to come. Oftentimes you're in the midst of these individuals and your discernment is peaking and you're able to call them out on certain things. You're able to, even without even saying anything, you're able to pick up on what these people really are about like you actually see through them you can see through all the facade that they try to put out there so in hebrews 5 and 14 reads but solid food is for the mature for those who have their powers of discernment trained by constant practice to distinguish good from evil so whenever you are experiencing things that you feel like why is this these unfair things happening to me or why is it that I'm coming in contact with these type of people? It can actually be a blessing in disguise. Being that you may have a heightened sense of discernment, a gift of discernment, you could also be considered as someone being very intuitive. You could have the clairs, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, and all the clairs. These are spiritual gifts, and they're actually ways to war against demonic entities against spiritual warfare so consider yourself blessed you may have been told in the past that you're highly sensitive but it may have been deemed as something as a weakness but it's actually a strength so chosen ones now that your gifts are becoming online now that you had no choice but to tune into your spiritual gifts be grateful and thankful that you're beginning to appreciate the spiritual gifts that you have because these are safeguards this is why you're able to avoid certain pitfalls this is why you're able to avoid certain obstacles that people try to put in your way and it's because you're in tune so let's get into a few of the examples let's go with three of them of the spiritual gift of discernment and why this is so important to pay attention to as a chosen one, a child of God. So one is you have this love for God's presence. This could be a keen attribute of yourself where you seek for morality. You seek to actually have a life that is pleasing to God per se. And this may have been something that you've always have. It's something that you cannot necessarily stray away. Even if you have dabbled in the world, you realize that you've always been called back to more of a spiritual walk. Like you have a strong spiritual compass and a sense of wanting justice and to have an upright position. So that is definitely one. Let's move on to the second one, which is sensitivity to atmosphere. So wherever you go, you pick up on energies from others. You pick up on people's moves, their behaviors. You pick up on things that often people don't necessarily pick up on. And even when it comes to your discernment, it's something that you pay very attention to when it comes to things that people are doing around you and even if you're not even wanting to pick up on certain things you do which leads us into the third one which is um going into you may have had precognition you may have had premonitions in your childhood and these were things that you picked up on you may have went somewhere or been around certain people and you're able to pick up on things and hear more of what people are actually saying it's like you're able to read between the lines per se like these are gifts of discernment so consider yourself blessed if you have the spiritual gift of discernment oftentimes people are considered cuckoo or if you share these things with people they may deem you as you know something could be off about you but really it is a gift it is a safeguard for yourself and it is a lot of times very prophetic it is an act of prophecy and divine wisdom 
Um, also, I want to add this bonus thing that just came to mind when you have a spirit of a discernment is that people tend to think that you can be very youthful. People tend to think that you have like ancient wisdom and you actually do. So take it as a compliment and, you know, understand that you're given this because this is in alignment with your divine life purpose and it's safeguarding you and it's actually helping you bring about a lot of peace to your own life because you're able to see through a lot that people try to hide.